30% increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. Hello again, Tunia back again. Um, this week we're going to do some sort of bizarre, sort of, uh, I don't know, probably very, very unknown uh, PC Engine game. Uh, I'm probably going to get this completely wrong, but I'm going to give it a go. It's Baku Show Yoshimoto no Shingenki. It's uh, basically it's a platform game made by Hudson Soft. It came out in 1994, so it was quite late in the life of the PC. PC Engine, to be honest. Um, it's got some quite nice graphics. It plays really well. It's not a huge amount going on, and I think it's pretty much based on a Japanese TV show or something, because at the at the ending credits, you get lots of um, like photographs of uh, the characters and stuff, as you can see them running through by ear. Also, I'd never seen the Japanese show, so I wouldn't know what was going on, but this is you know pretty much rather bizarre, crazy-looking Japanese platform game. Say made by Hudson Soft, which is quite cool. So we'll start this up. So yeah, I've run through this game twice now. I run through again before doing this review, actually. And it, it's it's not a bad little game. It's uh, it's pretty good fun. It's not it's not a huge amount of stuff going on, and it probably could have done with uh, a bit more things you can do playability wise. But pretty much you've got jump, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, the main character gets a bit of a kick in at the beginning for some strange reason. Also, later on in the game, out the character you've got, he actually teabags one of the other characters, which is class. And then, so, here you go, here you got your little character. He looks pretty cool, little character. He can't do much apart from look down, and he can jump, and that's pretty much it. And uh, you can jump on the characters to... You don't kill them, you just don't knock them out from them. I'm assuming these are a lot of the characters from the, uh, from the TV show. Because you, you do see him throughout the entire game dressed as different things. There's a few secrets on this as well. There's not much in the way of secrets, but there are a few. What do you do? If you hold down jump as well, when you actually bounce on somebody's head, you jump really high. Go watch it. Don't go down there. There's not really any sort of way of power-ups or anything in this game. But um, the graphics are quite nice, though. There is uh, loads of mini games. There's a lot of mini games involved in this game. Uh, they're all Japanese. There is one where you have to answer questions, but to be honest, you've got to beat. Well, you answer the you to answer the question. You've got to beat him up a platform level and get the answer before him. Um, and to be honest, it, it's really easy to get to the top. So you, you can you don't really need to. You know, no Japanese to play this game at all. Like. So right, this is the one of the first bonus games. And you pretty much gotta dance. So you gotta follow the on screen uh, instructions, push up down left or right, and they get faster and faster. So hopefully concentrate and do this. Ooh, mess messed that up and and you get uh, I think you get a mark on your sort of uh how good to do towards the end. Gets a bit sneaky sometimes how fast it gets. Ah, messed that up. Three downs there, that was a bit sneaky. Right, it's actually your first bonus, yeah, sort of little bonus game thing done. So I'm not sure if this is based in Osaka or something, but it, it definitely looks like it's based on some Japanese TV show. Right, so next stage, well, it's quite odd you pick the stick up if you can actually hit the strange. When I first played it, it seems like um, it w this game could have done with uh, the character like maybe firing something or doing pickups or maybe have to look up maybe because it's quite a cool looking character. 
reminds me in lots of ways of um, Chan and Chan. But obviously, Chan and Chan's got a bit of like toilet humor and stuff to it. But and there's a lot more going on. Chan Chan's more like um, a Mario game. The other thing it does, it does actually, you know, it does play quite well. But it is quite basic. There's lots of these little sort of things in between levels as well. I think the game's not too hard to finish either. I, on my, um, I say me and X Mosquito played through it the first time, and uh, we were doing basically a level each, and uh, we went through it all. And um, I'd done it for the second time earlier, and I, I finished it on the one credit quite easy, to be honest. It's not particularly an hard game. This is another bonus game now where you've got to push the direction when it asks you to. Ooh, pushed that button, which is a mistake. I don't know actually what happens if you miss that. I say it wasn't until probably about two weeks ago I realised this game actually exists. I don't think it's that uh, that expensive to buy. I know um, Jenky Games, uh, which do which I did buy my my duo from actually. They uh, they're pretty good as well. Uh, pretty nice company. Got lots of games and the, the prices are decent. They they're doing this um, this for eight ninety nine, which is really cheap for a PC engine game. I do another mini game now. Now we've got to do Jankin or uh, Scissors Paper Stone, and then chuck pizzas at each other's face. What I oh, what I found the best way to do is because this obviously is just all complete luck. It's just to keep doing stone. At least it worked last time I did it. See if it'll work this time. Yep. You do lose a life as well if you. Uh, I say one more hit and he's dead. See, just doing their uh, stone seems to work every time. You can try and do the other ones, but it does make it a lot harder. Hmm. Obviously, this time drinking a nice bit of cider. This is a uh, pomegranate and uh, strawberry cider by Old Moat Cider. Definitely recommended. Very, very nice. Yum, yum. Bit of a girl's drink, but what can I say? I prefer girl's drinks. It tastes nicer. So that's the first level done. Here we go now, back in old samurai times now. So I don't know whether the show is, you know, the actual show is themed. But look at this game, it's strangely, you know, like I said, it's not particularly very taxing, but it's strangely quite good fun. Ah, fun. So the graphic style's nice. It's quite a nice looking platform game for the PC Engine. It's got some nice colours in there. Now. Right. Got to jump on there you are. At first I thought they actually hit you. Right, if you go up in here. Yeah. Cool. It's a bit of NG over here I found. We got another mini game. This one's quite cool. 
you got to push up and down basically and then press slash to use your sword. You can get quite a lot of extra lives in here as well. I managed to get four, I think it's my most. It's there, man. I say the mini games are pretty cool. They're not, like I said, they're not too hard either. The mini games. Three lives. I'm sure four is the ma is the maximum I've got so far. It's probably four you can get. Right, let's get down this mountain now. Right? So Hudson Soft uh, made a lot of really good games on the PC Engine. I say they were involved actually with the making of the PC Engine with NEC anyway, but um, they made some really class games. This is, I wouldn't say this is one of the best efforts, but it's not bad. It just it could have done with a little bit more complexity to it, I think. But that, that's and soft always made really good quality games. I do rate Hudson Soft as a game company, they're very good. They're the ones who made like PC Kid and Venture Island. Um, oh, what else did they do? They they did loads of games. Bomberman is probably the most famous game. Right, the bonus game. This one you got to fly around. You got to club the ninja. This one's not too hard. Best if you stay above him. And he can't hit you then. You can just club him in the head. Ooh. Easy. So the music in the game's okay. It's not fantastic. It's, you know, does the job for what it is. Wouldn't write at home about it. This one slightly can be a little bit annoying until you know what to do on it. There's an ice level and you get on these like slides. Um, but if you miss the slides halfway through, you fall to the floor and you've got to backtrack for the level a little bit. It seemed a little bit annoying when we first played it, but um, I played the same time. If you just take a time and you can do it really easy. Ninjas, gotta watch the ninjas. Ooh. This is a bizarre power up, this one is. Right, if you go down here, there's a little secret down here. Which I found. Ah, I missed it. You can jump on those p um, pillars and you can jump across each pillar. I don't know exactly how far you can get across these pillars. Ah. Worth a try. I've never actually got across them completely, so I don't know, don't know if there's any sort of secret up there. Ah, i got to go and save her now. Kidnapped by a ninja. I think you got to be fed up, you already so slow. <laughs> Ooh, bounce off their heads. Take a bit of damage in there. Bit of damage boost in. So as you can see with this game, it's you know it's a it's a it's a fun little game. It's not a fantastic stuff amount of stuff going on. 
So you got you lots your little mini games and stuff, um, which we'll complete this mini game by you now, and we'll uh, we call it a day. But it's, it's not if you've got a PC Engine CD and you fancy something a little bit different. And um, I say if you've got janky games, you can pick this up for nine quid, which is relatively cheap just for a play around with. It's 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 an okay little game. It's not fantastic, but. Uh, you could see Hudson Soft did put a bit of time into making it. This game's quite. This one's quite hard. You got it's a mole hitting game basically. But you got to hit him on the head. You got to get so many hits. This one could be a bit tricky. Let's see if I can do it. Gets faster and faster. You can push the diagonals here, which as well, which is uh, quite nice. Oh, I missed one then. One more. Sick, sorry. That one get a little bit tricky, but they get really fast. It's really hard to hit him. But yeah, I say it's not. It's not a bad little game. You know, I, I don't think I, I I wouldn't want to give a seven out of ten because I think there are better platform games around for seven out of ten. But it it's a, you know it's not a bad little game for it is, and I think I give it I give it six point five. I don't really like giving point fives really, but sometimes you got to. Yeah, yeah. So I give it six point five out of ten. You know, if you're bored, you fancy a go, it's worth a go. It's quite a nice playing little game, and uh, it's not too, like I said, not too taxing. It's quite, e it's quite easy to finish. Uh, it's got some quite amusing little mini games and stuff, and some quite nice graphics. So give it a go. So that's um, I'll try it again. Now. That's Bakusho Show Yoshimito no Shingenki on the PC Engine. Hope you enjoyed the view, guys, and I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye now. Okay, do this little dance. <laughs>